Hola, ¿qué tal? Today we're going to do our fourth lesson, and this lesson is about foods, and we're going to combine those foods with adjectives. Let's get started straight away. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Regular. No fatal. Hola, la clase. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. So today we're going to talk about certain foods and we're going to be really specific about the ones we like and don't like. So let's get started straight away. Now, before we begin, over here there is a new little image. It's a pause button. When you see this, Mr. Bell will tell you to pause the video so you can do the task that I will set you. Remember, it's just a picture, you can't touch it, but I will tell you to pause the video now and you can do that. Let's begin with our first task. I have five new Spanish words for you and they're all foods. This one here says la ensalada. This one says la fruta. Over here, it says la carne. Down here says el pollo, and here says el pescado. What I'd like you to do now is have a little guess at what those foods might be in English. Okay, so now is the time you're going to pause your video and guess what these foods might be in English. Pause your video now. Estupendo. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Hopefully you were right. This food here, la ensalada, was salad. This food here, la fruta, was fruit. Very similar, aren't they? Salad, ensalada, fruit, fruta. Over here we had la carne, which was meat. If you know carnivore, that may have helped you. Down here we had el pescado, which is fish. And if any of you are a pescatarian, you probably got that one. And down here we have el pollo, which is chicken. And that word is very, very different to the English. Let's have a little practice of these words. My turn, your turn over here. My turn first. La, la ensalada. Let's put it together. La ensalada. Muy bien. Let's move to our next one, which is la, la fruta. Let's put that together. La fruta. Let's go to our meat. La, la carne. Let's put it together. La carne. Let's go to our fish. El. El pescado. Let's put that together. El pescado. Muy bien. And over here we have el, el pollo. Let's put that together. El pollo. Muy bien. Let's have one more practice before I set you another little task. Here we go. My turn, your turn. Over here, la ensalada. La fruta, la carne, el pescado, el pollo. Muy bien. We're going to do that one more time, just a little bit faster this time. Here we go again. My turn, your turn. La ensalada, la fruta, la carne, el pescado. El pollo. Muy bien. Perfecto. Well done. Now, there's our little button. This is your first task today. What I want you to do is get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil. 
and you now need to copy these words. So you're going to write the word in English, salad, and then you're going to write la ensalada. So that way you know that salad in Spanish is la ensalada. Then you do exactly the same for fruit. You write the word fruit and then you write la fruta. So you know that fruit is la fruta in Spanish. And then you need to do the same for meat, la carne, chicken, el pollo, fish, el pescado. You can even draw a little picture if you want to. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that. So you're going to pause your video now. Excellent. I hope you've got that done so we can move on to our next task. Oh, here we go with our typical Spanish question. My turn, your turn. One question mark here, another question mark here. Te gusta? One more time. Te gusta? Who can remind me what the question te gusta means? That's right. It means do you like? And one of our ways of responding is like this. Me gusta. Who can remind me what me gusta means? That's right. It means I like. And down here, we can always say no me gusta. What does no me gusta mean? That's correct. It means I don't like. Let's have a little practice. Te toca conversar. It's your turn to have a conversation with Mr. Bell. I'm going to ask you a question. Te gusta? Do you like? And I'll put one of our new foods in. If I say to you, te gusta la fruta? You can answer by saying, me gusta la fruta. I like fruit. Or maybe you say, no me gusta la fruta. I don't like fruit. Okay, here we go. Here's my first question. And it's about fruit. Te gusta la fruta? Muy bien. Let me ask you another question. This one's about me. ¿Te gusta la carne? Excellent. Next question is about chicken. ¿Te gusta el pollo? Muy bien. Let's see if you like salad or if you don't like salad. ¿Te gusta la ensalada? Interesting. And my last question is about fish. Let's find out if you like fish, me gusta el pescado, or if you don't like fish, no me gusta el pescado. ¿Te gusta el pescado? Muy bien. This time you're going to ask me a question, and I want you to ask me if I like chicken. Are you ready? Off you go. Me gusta el pollo. I like chicken. I want you to ask me one more question. Ask me if I like salad. Off you go. No me gusta la ensalada. I don't like salad. Well done. Now, it's time to give yourselves an estupendo. <clears throat> now, we've got our question again, which is, te gusta? And we know that means, do you like? But today, we've got a new response. And it goes like this. My turn, your turn. Me, me encanta. And we're going to get a little heart. And we do this. Me encanta. Muy bien. One more time. Me encanta. What do you think me encanta might mean? Have a look at the picture. You got it. It means I love something. Well done. <coughs> Excuse me. Down here, we have another word. And it goes like this. Odio. <coughs> Excuse me. One more time. Odio. What do you think odio might mean? Have a look at the picture. That's right. Odio means you really, really don't like something. 
But OK, let's have a little practice. My turn, your turn. Me encanta. And our other one is odio. Muy bien. Remind me again, how do we say I love something in Spanish? That's right, it's me encanta. And how do we say I really don't like something in Spanish? That's right, it's odio. Let's have a little practice. So, Mr. Bell's going to ask you a few more questions. Here we go. I'm going to ask you in a moment. Te gusta la fruta? Maybe you want to say, I love fruit, Mr. Bell. Me encanta la fruta. Or maybe you want to say, I really don't like fruit. Odio la fruta. Here we go. First question. Te gusta la fruta? Oh, muy bien. Now I'm going to ask you if you like meat. I say to you, te gusta la carne, and you want to say, I love meat, you would say, me encanta la carne. But if you really don't like meat, you're going to say, odio la carne. Let's find out. Here comes my question. Te gusta la carne? Oh, interesante. Let's see if you like chicken. Te gusta el pollo? Mm. What about salad? Te gusta la ensalada? Interesante. And finally, let's see who loves and who really doesn't like fish. Te gusta el pescado? Muy bien. It's your turn to ask me a question. And I'm going to either tell you I love that food or I really don't like that food. I want you to ask me about salad. So you're going to say, Te gusta la ensalada? And I'll give you my answer. Are you ready? Ask me now. Me encanta la ensalada. I love salad. Ask me if I like meat. Say to me, ¿Te gusta la carne? Odio la carne. I really don't like meat. One more question. Ask me if I like fruit. Say to me, ¿Te gusta la fruta now? Me encanta la fruta. I love fruit. It's very good for you. Wow, well done. Time to give yourselves another estupendo. Muy bien. We're going to look at a conversación, a conversation. But this is a revision from the last two lessons. So this is the work you've already done. I just want to check that you remember everything. Here we go. We have the boy and the girl. And last week, the boy asked this question. ¿Te gusta la piña? What does that question mean? Te gusta la piña? That's right. It means, do you like pineapple? And the girl said, me gusta la piña. What does that mean? That's right. It means, I like pineapple. But then the boy had another question and he said to her, por qué? Can you remind me what por qué means? That's right. It means why? So the girl had to explain and she said, porque es delicioso. Hmm, I remember that delicioso means delicious. I can't remember what porque es means. Can you help me? That's right, it means because it is delicious. Well done. Remind me again, when we ask the Spanish question, porque? What are we asking? Muy bien, we're saying, why? But when we say, por qué es, what are we saying? Correcto, because it is. And finally, delicioso. Hmm, what does that mean? That's an easy one. It means delicious, they're very similar. We also had a look at this conversation last week where the boy said, Te gusta el coco. Do you like coconuts? 
And the girl had a negative response. She said, no me gusta el coco. Something, something, coconuts. What does no me gusta mean? I don't like coconuts. So the boy said, ¿Por qué? Why? And she said, Porque es, because it is, asqueroso. Oh, asqueroso. What does asqueroso mean? Asqueroso. Asqueroso. Well done. That's exactly what it means. It means it's disgusting. Excellent. Now, you already know this big Spanish adjective. It describes taste when we're talking about foods. And we've already said it is delicioso. And it means delicious. Today, I have another adjective for you. And it goes like this. My turn, your turn. Sa. Sa bro. Sa bro so. Well done. Let's put that together. Sabroso. One more time. Sabroso. And as you can see, sabroso means something is tasty. So we have two positive adjectives. Our first one is delicioso. And our new one is sabroso. Muy bien. Now, we also have two negative adjectives. That means when we're describing foods that we don't like. Last week, we had this one. My turn, your turn. As. Asque. Asquero. Asquero so. Let's put that one together. Asqueroso. And we know that means disgusting. But I also have a new one today. This is an easy one. It goes like this. So. So. So so. That's it. Let's put it together again. So so. And so so means something is tasteless. Tasteless means when you put it in your mouth, you kind of go, hmm, what's that? It doesn't taste of much. A lot of people think salad is a bit tasteless. So these are our two negative adjectives. When we don't like food, we have, my turn, your turn, asqueroso. And our new one is soso. Muy bien. Now, there's our symbol. It's going to be time to pause your video in a second. What I need you to do before we do our final task today is I need you on your piece of paper to write these adjectives. You need to write the Spanish delicioso equals delicious. Sabroso equals tasty. And then our negative ones, asqueroso, means disgusting. And soso means tasteless. Get your pen, pencil or paper and write these four adjectives in Spanish and what they mean in English. Pause your video now. Excellent. It's really important we have that written down. So if you don't have that written down, it's probably a good idea to pause the video again and write those down because we will need them for the final task. Let's move on. Before we do, though, give yourselves one more. Estupendo. That means splendid work. Now, te toca terminar. So, we're going to do a little translation and then we'll move on. We've got our boy and our girl and our boy has a question. He says, te gusta la carne? And the girl says, me encanta la carne porque es sabroso. Let's have a little practice of that. Mr. Bell will be blue and you can be red. Remember, I will say to you, te gusta la carne, and you will say, me encanta la carne porque es sabroso. We're going to have a practice. Are you ready? My turn first. Te gusta la carne? Well done. 
Let's change roles. You can now be blue and I'll be red. So that means you are going to ask me, Te gusta la carne? And I will give the answer. Are you ready? Ask me now. Me encanta la carne porque es sabroso. Well done. Beautiful Spanish. Let's see if you can help me translate. Translate means, let's find out what all these Spanish words mean in English. Let's start here. Te gusta. What does that mean in English? Correct. Do you like? And la carne was... Meat. Te gusta la carne. Do you like meat? And our girl says, me encanta. Me encanta. That's one of our new words. What does that mean? It means I love. We know la carne means meat. Mmm. What about this bit? Por qué es? Por qué es? What does that mean? Because it's. And then one of our new words today, sabroso. Have a look at your writing sheet. That's right. It means tasty. Me encanta la carne porque es sabroso. I love meat because it's tasty. Muy bien. Let's do one more. Ah, the boy has a different question. He says, te gusta la fruta. And the girl says, me gusta la fruta porque es delicioso. Hmm, let's have a practice. This time, you're going to be blue, so you'll ask me the question. Ask me the question now. Me gusta la fruta porque es delicioso. Muy bien. Let's do a translation. That's the same as before. We find out what all these Spanish words mean in English. Let's start here. Te gusta. What does that mean? Do you like? Well done. La fruta. La fruta means fruit. Well done. Te gusta la fruta. Do you like fruit? And our girl says, me gusta. What does me gusta mean? It means I like. La fruta, we know, means fruit. Porque es means... Well done. Because it's... And our word from last week, delicioso, means... Delicious. Me gusta la fruta porque es delicioso means I like fruit. Because it's delicious. Well done. Now, here's our big final task. Te toca. It's your turn. This task is about terminar. You have to finish the phrase. Here's our instructions. Mr. Bell will show you a conversation between the girl and the boy. You will have to pause the video. Because you need to write on a piece of paper the word you think finishes the sentence. And the words you need are either delicioso, sabroso, delicious and tasty, or asqueroso and soso, disgusting and tasteless. We've got five questions to look at. Let's do the first one together. Number one, the girl says, te gusta la carne. Do you like meat? Ah, and we can see it's a positive response. So if it's a positive response, we can only use delicioso or sabroso. Because she says, me encanta, I love la carne, meat. Porque es, because it is. Now, here's where you would pause the video and write the word you think goes here. Now. Because we're doing this one together, let's have a look at the answer. Te gusta la carne? Me encanta la carne porque es... And I think you've got two words to choose from. You could say, me encanta la carne porque es sabroso. I love meat because it's tasty. Or you could also say, me encanta la carne porque es delicioso. I love meat because it's delicious. And that's what you have to do. The next one, you will do alone. 
don't forget to write the word that you want on your paper. You'll have to look back at the writing you did earlier to remind yourself of your spelling. Let's do number two now. You're on your own. It says, Te gusta la fruta. The answer is, Me encanta la fruta porque es... What word would you write here to finish the sentence? Pause your video now. Muy bien. I hope you've written your word. Let's have a look at what we could have chosen. Ah. Te gusta la fruta? Me encanta. Very positive. La fruta porque es... You could have written... Delicioso. Who wrote delicioso? Well done. I love fruit because it's delicious. Or you could have also written, me encanta la fruta porque es sabroso. Who wrote sabroso? Well done. Me encanta la fruta porque es sabroso. I love fruit because it's tasty. Okay, here comes number three. Oh, different question. Te gusta el pescado? Let's look at the answer. Oh dear, no me gusta el pescado. That's a negative answer. So we can't use delicioso and sabroso. We'll have to use something else. It's your turn. Pause the video. Choose the word that you think best finishes the sentence. Pause your video now. Muy bien, let's see what you chose. Oh, te gusta el pescado? No me gusta. I don't like el pescado, fish. ¿Por qué es? Now, I think there's only one word we could really choose here, and that is asqueroso. Hands up if you put asqueroso. Well done. I don't think we can use soso. Remind me again, what does soso mean? That's right, it means tasteless. Something has no taste. And fish is certainly not soso. It's not tasteless. Fish has a very strong taste. That's why a lot of people find it a little bit disgusting. Asqueroso. So I think the best word to finish this sentence is definitely asqueroso. Well done if you chose that one. Okay, let's move on to our next one. Number four, two more. Te gusta el pollo. Me gusta. Positive response. El pollo porque es. What word would you put here? Pause your video and write that word now. Muy bien. I think you've got two choices again. Te gusta el pollo. Me gusta el pollo. Porque es. You could have written sabroso because it's tasty. Or you could have also written delicioso because it's delicious. Who wrote delicioso? Muy bien. Who wrote sabroso? Muy bien. Well done. Here's our last one for today. You're doing so well. Last one now. Oh, it says, Te gusta la ensalada? Let's look at the response. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh, la ensalada, porque es. What word would you write here? Write it down and pause your video now. I think there's two answers that you could easily write here. Te gusta la ensalada? Do you like salad? Oh, Dios, I really don't like. La ensalada, salad, because it is. I think one word you could definitely write is soso, tasteless. A lot of people think salad is tasteless. That's why they put vinaigrette and oils and all types of things on salad. But you could also probably say asqueroso, because some people just really find salad a bit disgusting. Hands up, who wrote soso? Well done if you did. Hands up, 
who wrote Askeroso? Well done if you did. Finn, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson because I really did. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your written work on Seesaw again. It's time to say goodbye. Adios.